previously on Alaska Cabin Adventures. I think I'm gonna try to get some of the snow off my roof. Oh! Things just got a whole lot worse. Cracked the chimney in half. You need to stop fighting. It's very scary. Today, we deal with the disaster. I have a couple other people here to help me, so I think I'm gonna try to uh, get some of the snow off my roof. It is much easier said than done. This is like a 20 foot cabin. It's uh, not super easy to get a rope up and over that by yourself. So anyway, we're gonna give it a try with the broom. All right, I got the roof rake out again. Okay, it's just got a broom handle, not a real handle. So I know I don't have the right stuff. All right, I got a big uh, climbing rope that I use for getting up on top of the roof to work on the chimney. We're gonna try to get this from one side to the other. This is tough to do, you guys will see. Let's check it out. We got a log tied to the end of the rope to give it some weight, something to throw. So we're gonna try to chuck this thing over the lower part of the roof, just see if we can even get it across the other side. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. Yeah. I forget how we did it last time. It's a good throw one end on this side and then throw one end on that side and sort of like walk it. Yeah. Up. We got one corner over. So we kind of saw back and forth. Working. All right, so we got that rope all the way underneath all that and it didn't do anything. Cut it totally clean from the bottom, but if we can get the rope on the steeper part of the pitch, I think maybe it could cut it loose enough to go. But anyway, getting the rope up and over is no easy task. So I got my 40 foot extension ladder out. Things are getting sketchy. Okay, so we got the rope up to the peak of the roof by me walking the middle of it up with the other two guys on the other side, and then Will walked it around the back. So now we have it over on that side. So we're gonna try to get the rope to come over the center. Then we can saw it down the center, which is gonna be our breaking point for a shed. Need to try to work the rope towards the peak. Let's try to saw upwards. Okay, let me get off the ladder. We did get the far side to go. So now we're just gonna try to get the side with the porch to go. Yeah, it's kind of working. While working the rope around to the other side, we made a critical mistake. All right, well, things just got a whole lot worse. We uh, tried to use a rope to get the snow off and hooked it onto the chimney and we're pulling too hard and we actually cracked the chimney in half at the joining point of the seams. So now the chimney is literally off and sitting on top of the roof. So I'm gonna harness up and actually have someone belay me. And I'm gonna climb up on the roof that still has all the snow on it, which is super sketchy and uh, try to get the chimney put back on because <laughs> otherwise we're going to freeze to death. So that's what we're doing. All right, so here's the plan. And we absolutely have to get that chimney back on. Otherwise, we're totally screwed. So uh, I got my climbing harness on and uh, it's going to tie in. And then we have the rope going over the peak of the house. And then we're going to have someone belay me uh, off the other side, anchored into the snow machine. I'm gonna try to climb up through the snow pack and get to the chimney and resecure it. The danger here is that this roof side has not shed yet. We got the other side to shed, but this one is not shed. So if it decides to shed while I'm up there, we don't really know what's gonna happen. It's a lot of force coming down with the blade anchor. It's really dangerous. So we're gonna hope that it doesn't shed, I guess is the plan. And then we're gonna just, I don't even know. I actually used to do a good bit of rock climbing. I'm through, I'm double backed, and I'm clipped in, so it's about as good as I can ask for. Man, Scott, you're on a munter sense. hitch off of the uh, snow machine and Will's backing her up. All right, I'm gonna climb.
All right, so the rope is underneath the snow. I'm gonna try to have it come out of the snow. There we go. All right, hold. I'm gonna work my way to the towards the peak of the roof. Here we go. If there's slack, right. you need to stop climbing. Let us know. My understanding of what's happening is that it's very scary. Okay, I'm above the avalanche danger. What's up, guys? All right, I'm gonna to traverse towards the chimney. Getting to work here. Here's the chimney. As you can see, it came off from the base. which has currently a fire in it, so smoke's coming out. Uh, that came off at the twist lock spot, so apparently my twist lock wasn't done right or something. And uh, I'm gonna try to get it back on. <sighs> All right, is there any chance we could get a multi-tool up to me? Really, I mean, just a pocket knife would be fine. No, I'll come down and get it. My problem is, is that the rubber boot that goes around it to keep it waterproof is up over the edge of where the locking ring is. I'm working back. Of course, Dennis has a knife. I feel ashamed I don't have my leather knife. Thank you, sir. I'll wait till you get down before I go up because in case it does go, yeah, no sense in taking you with it. All right, I'm back to work. <laughs> Just maybe I can reattach it. I want to apologize for the shaky camera work. I know it's hard to watch, but it's the only footage that I had, and I wanted to give you guys a first-hand account of what happened. At this point, I realized that the twist lock isn't gonna go back on the way that I thought it was because it had stripped out when we ripped it off. But I tried my best to get the snow cleared out from the inner ring, as well as getting the rubber gasket cut away from it so that it would have a nice tight fit. I'd been up on the roof for the better part of an hour now, and exhaustion was kind of starting to set in. I was soaking wet and really cold from the day. I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast, and we'd been working on this roof for the better part of four or five hours. Finally, after carefully lining up the seams, I got what I thought was gonna be the best possible fit that I could. Might have got it. I twisted it to what felt like the firmest point and then made sure that the seams had seated properly. Having had to cut the rubber boot back, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna leak next time that it rains. But here's where I call it good enough. All right. I need to get inside, get dry, get warm. All right, the chimney's back on good enough. It's definitely all stripped in there, so we're gonna have to replace it when it's better timing. But for now, the chimney is back in there. And it's time to go inside. Okay, I'm on the ladder. Give me slack. All right, I'm down. Oh my God. I didn't go really well, but it's fixed. And I am bleeding pretty bad, but I'll be okay. All right, well, I'm down off the roof. The chimney has been reapplied. And like I said, it's really not on there very good. It's all the threading for the twist lock was stripped, but it was super hard to work up there. Couldn't see anything, the snow kept getting in the way. Everything up there was super sharp and there was smoke coming out of the chimney the whole time, so it's pretty gnarly. Barring any major snowstorms or wind, I think it'll hold for now. And thanks to Will here, 
Did a phenomenal job. A lot of knowledge of rock climbing and ropes and belays and safety that helped us out a lot. So Don't uh, duplicate anything you saw here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> none of this. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm uh, probably hypothermic, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go inside. Well, that turned into way more of a fiasco than I intended. That was a crazy day. Sometimes your chimney falls off in the middle of the winter when you're soaking wet and exhausted. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I think we're gonna call it a night. This has been one of the more interesting episodes of Alaska Cabin Adventures, so please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.